It's asymptomatic that if we didn't define ourselves for ourselves, we will be defined by others for their use and to our detriment. Audrey Lord. This project is important to me personally. Um, I see in the media, I see a lot of, you know, how women are portrayed, how, you know, minority women are portrayed, African American, Hispanic women are portrayed. And this is something that portrays us how we really are. Like, it's a very, it's a, it's a different stand. Um, so it's, it's al almost as if it's like, I don't want to say reality, but it's reality in the sense that, like, what you see on TV is not really how we are. I mean, you know, shows that I can think of the top are, like, Basketball Wives or Housewives of Atlanta or um, Love and Hip Hop. It's just, uh, um, it's, it's just showing, you know, little girls the wrong impression of how women are. Um, I'm actually, my parents are from Honduras. Um, so I consider myself a Latina, black Latina. Um, so I would grow up and they'll be like, oh, where are you from? I was like, I'm actually Hispanic. No, you're not. You're black. You shut up. You're just black. You know, and it's kind of like, you know, people just put this tag on you and it's like you're expected to just take it, you know. And um, not that I took it, but it, I just ended up, you know, most of my circle is African-American. <laughs> um, I just relate to them more for some reason, um, I, but then they just came to a point where I was just too Spanish to hang out with the black crowd or too black to hang out with the Spanish crowd. So I was kind of like in in between. So um, like my closest friends are biracial or Asian and just diverse. I consider myself a black Latina um, and, and it's not so much about color, it's more about character. So. Um, when I want people to think of me, I want people to say that, you know, I am a loving, joyful, and responsible woman, or um, I consider myself to be, you know, a sister, um, an auntie recently, <laughs> she's four months, um, a daughter, you know, it's these roles that actually shape us who we are. It's not so much about race and color. I mean, yes, those things actually do take a part of how we react to certain situations, how we respond to certain things and how we treat other people. But um, it's not really about color, it's more about character. What it means to be black and Latina? Uh, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> um, it, means, it means diversity. To me, it means what you see is not always what you get. Um, you can't judge a book by its cover. So, you know, people look at me and they don't know that Spanish is actually my very first language. It means culture. It means traveling to Honduras every two years to see my grandmother. <laughs> um, it means um, an appreciation for other cultures, an appreciation for Latin music not just live music, all, all music, um, an understanding for the minority versus the majority. I want the world to see me, well, I want the world to see me, period. You know, um, we just tend to just, well, not we, but I tend to um, just blend in with the crowd and that takes away individuality. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden you're just in limbo. So I want people to just see me and see me as somebody who is loving, somebody who is um, grateful, somebody who is happy. <laughs> um, just, you know, as a woman who respects herself and who also happens to be Black Latina, you know? Like that. Hi, my name is Ujama D. Hanacha. I'm a fine art photographer and creator of The Reimagining. Thank you so much for taking a moment to understand why this project is so important to us. Please help us make this historic project possible. 100% of your donation will go towards the creation of this exhibit. Visit us at idistudios.com for more information on how you can help The Reimagining.